Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Windows 11 update error that is updates failed. One of the update services is not running properly. So if you are receiving this error message whenever you try to update your Windows 11, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run update troubleshooter. For this, go to the start menu and then click on settings. Go to system, scroll down. Click on troubleshoot. Click on other troubleshooters. Now, in front of Windows update, you will see the run option. So, click on run. And once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer and then try to update your Windows 11 once again. Now, the next step is to start Windows update and background intelligent transfer service. For this, type in services in Windows search box. Then click on services. Now find Windows Update in the list. Make a double click on Windows Update. Set the startup type to automatic. Then click on Apply. Click on Start if highlighted and then click on, click on OK. Now find Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Make a double click. Set it to Automatic. Click on Apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now with background intelligent transfer service, click on restart the service. Do the same thing with Windows update. Make a select Windows update in the list and then click on restart the service. Now try to update your Windows 11. Now the next step is to use Windows 11 installation assistant. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now here if you see the option which says accept and install, click on it and update your Windows 11. In case Windows 11 installation assistant is not loading, it's not coming up, in that case, go to the download location, make a right click on Windows 11 installation assistant and then select properties. Now go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says, run this program in compatibility mode for and select Windows 7 from the list and then click on apply, okay. Then make a double click and then you should be able to see Windows 11 installation assistant. Now click on accept and install. Now after the update restart your computer and your windows should be up to date. Now the next step is to reset windows update components. For this copy all these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So copy till here. And then open notepad on your computer. And then paste all the command in notepad. Go to file, then click on save as. Set it to desktop. Name this file as wufix.bat. And then for save as type, select all files. And then click on save. Now go to desktop. Here you will see wufix file. Make a right click on wufix file and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you're opening this file as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now, first of all, it will stop all the Windows update services and then it will run some scans. Now, the scan will take time because there are a couple of scans. Once the scan is complete, it will restart all the Windows update services. Now, once this process is done, then restart your computer and then try to update your Windows 11 and that should go ahead and fix the error message. Now, in case if nothing is working, you can use media creation tool to update your Windows 11. For this, go to the same website, scroll down here you can see media creation tool, click on download now and then run this exe file. Then you will see the screen, click on accept, by default Windows 11 would be selected, click on next, then select ISO file, then click on next, 
you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file now make a double click on windows iso file and then here you can see setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept and again it will check for update now this process will take some time now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked now when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation login to your computer and your windows should be up to date and you should not receive this error message anymore so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel